Всем привет, меня зовут Николай Цинкевич, и это специальный выпуск ЦСКА Баскет Шоу, выпуск, в котором мы познакомимся с новичком нашей команды Алериком Фримемом. Алерик, привет. Привет, привет. I know you can say already uh, some Russian words. Я знаю, что ты уже немножко можешь сказать несколько русских слов. Uh, как дела? How are you doing? Uh, so hard uh, Молодец. <laughs> Uh, какие твои первые впечатления от Москвы и от ЦСКА? What are your first impressions of Moscow and CSKA? Uh, you know, it's been great. Um, you know, still getting adjusted. You know, um, just getting, you know, my feet kind of settled in. But, you know, my first uh, game with the team was, you know, a triple overtime game and a buzzer beater. You know, it was a tough one to lose because, you, you know, the guys, you know, gave their hearts out there on the court. But, you know, I would say, you know, my first week here has, you know, been, you know, amazing so far. Обычно люди, друзья, товарищи по команде называют его Эл, потому что Алерик, очевидно, длинное имя. Расскажи, может быть, немножко о своем имени. Если зайти на Википедию и начинать вводить его имя, то там других Алериков и не будет. Well, uh, you know, honestly, I have no idea. Uh, I think, you know, my, I think my uh, mom wanted to name me something um, else, and my dad came in and saved the day <laughs> with my name. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, you know, Alaric, so many people growing up um used to mess up my name and you know butcher it and all that kind of stuff so i just you know just said hey just call me al make it easier for you make it easier for me and you know that's kind of just where Al became you know just something simple for people to call me who didn't want to you know try to mess up my name расскажи о предложении цск как быстро ты его принял когда оно появилось и как ты к нему отнесся i guess uh you know it's very interesting not you know i have a, a great agent And, uh, you know, he came to me uh, one day and, and said, um, you know, hey, uh, you know, I think Cheska is, you know, looking for a guard and, um, and you know, got on the phone with, with uh, Coach Etudis, uh, you know, several days after that um, and started and um, it started a process of coming here and everything. And, and, you know, it was everything happened, you know, so fast. Um, we had my, my wife, my family and I, we had to pack up the apartment. Um, and, you know, had to get the visa and had to, you know, get the, the flights and stuff like that. So, you know, everything was going so fast that it was kind of like a blur. But um, I remember when my agent, you know, brought up Cheska and, and he said, you know, you know, uh, this could be an opportunity. I said, you know, okay. Назови, вот, охарактеризуй себя как игрока, назови свои три самых сильных качества. I would definitely say, you know, I'm a scorer. I would, you know, I love to, you know, shoot jump shots. Um, you know, off the bounce, uh, get into the mid-range, uh, I can finish, um, and I like to get out in transition, I like to play really fast, uh, play in the open court, play in space, um, where I could use, you know, my size and athleticism, um, and then, you know, obviously, you know, when you're playing against good players on the other side of the ball, you always have to defend, you don't want to be embarrassed by anybody, you know, if you give me any type of space, you know, I'm definitely gonna. You know, I think every shot I take is going in. But, you know, I definitely think, you know, um, I'm a really good shooter. So. Немножко поговорим о начале твоей карьеры, о том, как ты выбрал баскетбол. I would definitely say basketball chose me. Uh, my dad played college basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, my uncle played in uh, the NFL, which is American um, sport. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, my whole family, except me and my dad, you know, played football. Me and my dad chose basketball and... Um, So you followed that steps. I followed my dad, yeah. I loved basketball, I liked football. So I thought, okay, if I'm gonna do something and I'm gonna, you know, have to, you know, give my all to something, I wanna give it to basketball and not, you know, putting on a helmet and getting a concussion and <laughs> wearing shoulder pads in 90 degree heat. No, nah, I'm not trying to do that. So напоминаю, что вы можете задавать вопросы. Вот нам поступают вопросы. Егор Савельич спрашивает, почему второй номер. You know, truthfully speaking, um, I had some really good seasons wearing number two. So I said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I mean, um, my uncle that played in the NFL, he mm -hmm. wore number 12. Uh -huh. I wore that my senior year of college. Mm -hmm. And and 12. then 12, mm -hmm. yeah. And then um, my first team in Europe, Uh, they didn't ask me what jersey number I, I wanted, so I, gave they gave me 55, so I was just like, okay. Um, and then my uh, second year in Turkey, um, they asked me, and I said, uh, can I have 12? They didn't have 12, mm -hmm. so they said, you could wear number two. Mm -hmm. Well, I chose number two because without the one, so I said, okay, let me get number two. And, you know, um, things have been going great with this jersey number, so I said, all right, let me just, you know, stay with stay with what's working, so. Your Instagram account? Yes. Uh, how, <laughs> how do you read it and why this name? 
Furleys. Furleys. Yeah. Okay, Furleys. Uh, it's a nickname from my grandfather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, Your grandfather named you like this? Yeah, uh -huh. a nickname, just, you know, um, he, he gave... What does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if you... My dad has a nickname from my grandfather, my, my uh, aunts, uncles, cousins. Uh, they're all, you know, weird and funky, but, you know, it's his own thing that he gave us, so he gave me Furleys, and I don't know where it came from. I'm gonna have to ask him. Алексей Ромасов спрашивает, попробовал ли Эл уже русскую кухню и вообще какие гастрономические у него предпочтения? I don't know if I had Russian food. Um, I just, you know, I try to eat as clean as I can. I've just been eating uh, salmon and broccoli every day. I, li I like dessert. So I have to make sure that I, you know, don't overdo it with my meals so that I can enjoy the dessert because I can't do both. Скажи что-нибудь о своих увлечениях, о своих хобби. I was a video, I am a huge video gamer, <laughs> but, you know, when you get your second kid, you can't do it as much as, you know, you wanted to. So, you know, so far I've just been trying to, you know, read books, but watching a ton of film. Ты сказал, что ты не проще подучить русский? Yeah, for sure. Um, I love, you know, learning different languages and experiencing the opportunity that is uh, invaluable. You know, you can buy a lot of things, but you can't buy, you know, the, the opportunity and experience to um, experience a culture, you know, um, and to be able to speak Russian, I think would be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, you know, also just to be able to speak when I'm out in public here, um, you know, grocery store visits, small, talking to people, you know, I, I would, I just something Interviews. That, interviews, yeah. Oh, so I don't, you know, I'm not going to need you anymore. А сейчас я хочу сказать, что мы заканчиваем наше шоу. По-моему, оно получилось очень интересным. Спасибо вам большое. Спасибо всем, кто смотрел и задавал вопросы.